Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Oscar. How are you doing there now? <laughs> I can see Herberto, Maricela, Gerardo. Well, Gerardo. Okay, now Ronan there. Hello, Ronan. Good evening. Gerardo, good evening. How are you doing, Ronan? Okay, Hector, thanks for letting me know about it. Okay, welcome, people. Now, remember, uh, let's wait a little bit. It's four minutes to eight. So we still have some time to, to relax, okay? I have Maricelo here, Gerardo, Gilberto, okay. Good. Now we're gonna start in a couple of minutes, okay? I hope that you have prepared something really nice for us. I will start the class by by um presenting some information related to what we have been studying lately um, about uh, prepositions of place and also about there is and there are extra vocabulary and later and later the uh, you will be given some time to present uh information about popular cities in the world and after that i will give you some minutes for you to uh, get prepared with the queerest houses in the world okay so we are gonna go over a lot of vocabulary a lot of information so i hope you get ready Ok, espero que hayan investigado acerca de las ciudades eh, más populares del mundo y también acerca de las casas más extrañas que hay en el mundo. Solicito que tengan las presentaciones a la mano para cuando yo ya este, les, les pida que presenten um, no haya ninguna dificultad, ¿verdad? So it's almost time that we, we're missing two minutes. Well, and then I have, okay, Mariel, but I hope that you can solve the, 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 the... okay, Ma... okay, Mary, hope you can, you can get home early. And also I have, Hector, right? So welcome people, I have eight people connected. That's, it's getting better. I can see it at the end, everybody got theirs. And that's fantastic. Okay, so I will check the list attendance. We will still miss in two minutes. Be ready, okay, with everything you need. Get your, your cup of coffee, have some candies by your side, and drink some water. Get relaxed, be prepared with the activities that are coming, you know, presentations about uh, cities and grid and grid houses. I, I don't know, but in El Salvador, I have never seen one of those houses. I think anybody has a, a, a grid house, right? I will check the list of tenders. Be ready. Okay, 10 people. Gladys is over here. Very good. Welcome, Gladys. Where are Liz? Hello, teacher. Hello, good to see you. Uh, just be ready with everything we're going to wear tonight, okay? With the cities in, in, in the world, popular cities in the world. And also with houses, the weirdest houses in the world. 
I hope you have investigated a little about it, okay? Okay, it's eight o'clock today, Friday. Ah, uh, well, actually, I, I wonder if you could finish your, your test. Terminaron el, el final test. Yes, no. Okay, very good, Oscar. Oscar did. What about the rest, Ronan? Mary, Hector, Maricela, Gilberto, Gerardo, Veraliz, Gladys. Um, type it in the chat so that I can see if you if you finish your final test, because that's important. That's quite important to know about your activities in the platform. Well, it's eight o'clock, time to start. Well, welcome people, that's a fair war for you. Uh, well, I will check the list of attendance as I said before, do me a favor to say hello, right? Then we're going to start with some activities over here and some presentations. Okay, Adan, are you over here? Adam is absent. Allison, Andrea Raquel, Camelia, eh, Dina Maribel, Gerardo, ¿qué es Gerardo de aquí? And also Gilberto, right? Gerardo, Gilberto. Yeah, vamos a ver de aquí. Okay, type. Use the chat, please. Gerardo, Gilberto, Gladys. I know Gladys is over here also. Yes. Okay, yes. Hector Salvador is over here. Henry, I, I don't see Henry. Henry, are you here? Henry, Gerardo is over here, very good. So Henry is missing. Isabel. Hey, Jonathan Josué. Jonathan hasn't come yet. Eh, Mayra Norabel. It's not it, it's not here either. Maria Elba, I know you are over here. Also, Maricela, Miguel Angel. Eh, Norma Xiomara. Hello. Okay, Norma. Oscar Josue. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar. Ronan. Present teacher. Excellent. Santiago. Is Santiago here? Vera Liz, I know. Let me see. Vera Liz, I know. Vera Liz is. is okay, very good. Vera Liz. Yeah, Vera Liz over here. She's uh -huh. as a listener tonight. Yeah, Maricela is over here also. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Vidal. Vidal is absent so far. And Claudia Veronica. Hi, teacher. Very good. Good to see you here, Claudia. Uh, let me see. Well, you know, later I will check list attendance again. Don't worry, this first time. As I usually tell you, it's important to know it's about people who get to the class on time. And also about people who who stays in the class the 120 minutes. Well, we're gonna start. We're gonna have some. I will start by my own. I will I will provide some information, uh, some feedback, some uh, exercises, and also I will try to introduce some vocabulary. Okay, that's what I'm what I will do tonight. Okay, and you. Are in church of hey Henry is here. Hello Henry. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Uh, what happened? Ahora me resolvieron, teacher. Long Así time no see you, Henry. Sí. Yeah, but I'm really happy to see you. I thought you were not going to show up anymore. But that's fantastic, Henry. Okay, happy teacher. Happy to see you here. Happy to see you here. Thanks. 
Okay, Henry Ernesto, right? Quite good. Okay, Henry. Uh, well, I know you have not been in the class during these days. Okay, but uh, you have to you have to work in, uh, on the platform uh, on the in the exercises in the platform, Henry. Yes, teacher. Okay. Y a, a para este día teníamos previsto terminar lo que es el 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 final exam, el final. Sí, hoy lo, fa hoy lo finalicé todo lo de la plataforma. Perfecto. Eh, mañana me voy a dedicar a sacar el récord de ustedes de tareas y de y del final test. ¿Ok? Eh, todavía queda lunes y martes, pero recuérdense que ya lunes, martes, ya pues el lunes tenemos presentaciones. ¿Ok? Eh, Henry, creo que usted no sabe acerca de esto, pero para el día lunes nosotros hemos acordado eh, crear, que ustedes creen una presentación o algo, un video, algo en donde ustedes nos muestren todo lo que se van a llevar del nivel básico. ¿Ok? O sea, todo lo que han aprendido del nivel básico. Eso va a ser como algo que ustedes los vayan a de satisfacción, primeramente a ustedes y luego a mí, del arduo trabajo que hemos estado haciendo. Yo creo que ustedes han hecho un, un excelente trabajo y pues nada mejor que ver los frutos. Yo siempre he creído eso, que pues acá podemos estar este, conectados y haciendo los ejercicios y todo, pero... Ya cuando, no, cuando empezamos a crear algo por nuestra propia cuenta, entonces ahí como que vemos resultados palpables. ¿no? Entonces ese es para el día lunes. Lo que deben de incluir, Henry, son los contenidos que hemos venido estudiando. ¿okay? Eh, sean creativos. ¿okay? Uh, por ahí pues nos pueden compartir un video que, en donde aparezcan ustedes hablando o este, presentando cierta información, no sé, algo que ustedes consideren es muy creativo y que pues no, no, nos va a mantener acá pegados a la pantalla viendo cada uno de, de esos esfuerzos, ¿ok? Eso es para el día lunes, yeah. ¿ok? Es para Thanks. el día lunes. Um, well, now yes, I will start. Eh... So I want you to participate actively in the class. That's very important. You know, to participate, it's quite important. Okay, so do me the favor. Now, yesterday, I mean, the day before, yesterday we were talking about quantifiers. I mean, I mean, there, uh, there is and there are, okay? Then we, we saw a couple of quantifiers, right? A lot of and some, etc. And uh, the day before yesterday, we were talking about how to use prepositions of place. Okay, what about today? Today, we are going to go over some practice, okay? Prepositions of place, okay? But we're going to see some info also about uh, there is and there are. And besides that, well, you are going to have presentations tonight. Okay, um, presentations about um, popular cities in the world and also uh, the, the weirdest houses in the world. Esas son las presentaciones que tenemos para ahora. Información que ustedes recuperaron. Ciudades populares en el mundo y casas extrañas. Fuera de serie. Okay. So, so let us get down to business, okay? We're gonna go over the, the, the exercises for tonight, okay? The ones that uh, were presented in the platform. It's quite good to have some review on it. Now, the, uh, the, the instructions say that we need to read the sentence and we need to use there is or there are according to uh, the noun, right? If the noun is singular or plural, well, you know, you know what to do, right? So here we have a banana. Singular or plural, people? Singular. It's singular. So which one do we need to use? There is or there are? There is. There is. There is. Okay. Yesterday I noticed about something. 
that some of you type like at the beginning, there is. Now, something that I, that, that I could notice is that you included uh, a lower case at the beginning. And you need to remember that at the beginning of a, of a sentence, you need to type a, a capital set, uh, letter. Okay, simple, but don't forget it, okay? There is a banana in this basket, good. There is. Now, in the second one, we have some chairs, singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So, which one do we need to use? There is or there are? There are. There are, perfect. Maribel says, I'm sorry, I'm checking the WhatsApp group. There's a good idea, Billy, so listen. All right, all right, Maribel, I understand. I saw the message. Well, there are some chairs in the kitchen, all right? And we have lots of books, singular or plural? Plural. Plural. There is or there are? There are. There are. We have a mirror in our hall. A mirror in our hall. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. So there are or there is? There is. There is. There is a mirror in our hall. Cushions on the kufa. Singular or plural? Plural. 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 What is the best option? There are. There are. There are. And that's it, right? So uh, let me see. I will check. Let's check the answers. Okay. There's there's a banana in this basket. There are some chairs in the kitchen, and there are a lot of books on the shelf, and. and there's a mirror in a hole, and there are 12 cautions on the sofa. Now, vocabulary. I know that you investigate investigating vocabulary. What's basket, people, in Spanish? Canasta. Excellent, very good. What's, uh, where are it? chairs in Spanish? Yeah. What's kitchen? Cocina. All right. What about shelf? What's shelf in Spanish? Uh huh. Shelf. Estante. All right. What is the plural form for shelf? What's plural form? For a shelf. Look at it. Some plural form changes, right? The area regular. Okay. Shelves. This is plural. Okay. Now, what's a mirror? What's a mirror in Spanish, people? What what's a hole? Pasillo. All right. What about cautions? Cojines. Excellent. Very good. Now we we have it clear, right? We have everything clear about this exercise. Okay. Now, well. We're gonna go over this part, okay? First, because I, I we need to go and have some review about um, prepositions, right? Prepositions of place, prepositions of place. Okay, we said that we can use it with avenues on, right? We can say that uh, on can be used to talk about when, when providing direction and say that's on the corner of 
it's on the streets in can be in a uh, in a country in a city in a specific place in the city like in a park or in a neighborhood at can be used for rooms okay, you, you have to say at work and at the bank okay now and last time we were talking about or we solved this exercise i want you to to tell me the way we solved it last time i work in the park that is first avenue and barrio street what is the preposition this is the second time we solved this exercise uh-huh in is it in first avenue what is the one that we use for avenues avenue we say in in um. ah okay so that's why i'm trying to do this the, i mean it's the same exercise but i know that for some people can be confusing okay so we say on first avenue on first avenue now what about the number two their factory is located in in la libertad in la libertad we see we see you and we have a room what is the preposition we need to use for rooms? Or we have the cafeteria, right? In, on, or at. This is a training room. At at the training room or at the cafeteria. Number four, Anna works in the company that is town. Oh. On town, give me a second. What is the one that we use for towns? In San Salvador, it's a, a city, right? Mm -hmm. In the suburb, in San Salvador, in the park, in the area, that's a specific place, right? In town, that's mm -hmm. in town. Mm -hmm. Right? In town. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is Roosevelt Street. Where's the one that we use for streets? On. On, quite good. On. On Roosevelt Street. And the last one, till end that we are at the, the, the last time I, we said it, right? That we that it, it's, it was solved. At the mirror room, right? So this is solving. Do you remember? You say, at, at. Okay. At the meeting room. Okay, so I hope that you keep it in mind. Okay, this is the second time so that we can clarify some doubts, right? Some doubts. And also, well, we were, uh, uh, just that we were talking about there is there are, right? There is there are, we saw it uh, with negative statements and also with questions. We were practicing the conversation. We were, we were answering some questions over here. And well, we we, we had like um, some explanation about it, right? And that's what we did yesterday, right? So tonight, oh, well, I, I I will I will present some info, okay? Just before going to the workplace, because I hear you need to provide a description about your workplace, okay? But before getting to that part. 
I will send some info over here. That's going to be useful. It's going to be very useful because we're gonna we're gonna learn some vocabulary that you may use for your presentation tonight. Okay, the information that's over here is about my house. I mean, that is the topic. Yeah, that is not my house. Okay, that is not my house. I want you to be clear. That is the topic, right? Now, can you imagine having this house with... How do you say piscina in English, people? How do you say piscina in English? So we're going to start with that. No, no, no. Piscina. No, not exactly. Pool. Okay, how many pools are there in the picture? How many? How many? I think they are two, right? One, two. You say there is or there are? There are. There are what? There are two? Two pools. Pools. Where? 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 Where are they? ¿En dónde se localizan? Where are they? ¿Cómo dicen enfrente de la casa? Hello? There are two pools. Uh -huh. You remember about this expression? In front. Uh, if in front of the house. In front of the house. Okay, there you, you can see, right? They are in front of the house. Okay, so we're gonna try to get some vocabulary, okay? And to start with, um, we are gonna be like trying to use uh, prepositions at the same time. Now, how many living rooms are there in the in the presentation? How many? How many living rooms are there in the presentation? Three. Three, right? Mm -hmm. So you say there are. Three. three there are three living three, rooms three. there, there three are living room. three living rooms you see it's over here right there are three living rooms okay now uh, in this living room there is what do you see over here in the living room I have some vocabulary here, so look. One mirror on the fireplace, okay. Now use there is, people. Tell me the sentence, please. There is lamp. There is. Uh, there is a lamp, okay, very good. Now, what do you see, what do you read over here? What do you read here? There is or there are? There is. Uh -huh. There is one. There is one mirror on the fireplace. That's over here, right? Now let's see what else do we have over here. Uh, what what else do we have? What else do we have? Okay. 
There is. There is a picture on. Now it says on the wall, right? Okay. On the wall. Okay. What else do we have? A big TV. There is. Okay. Now do me the favor to, to provide a, a complete set. There is a big TV. What else do we have? We have there a, a big uh -huh. TV. There's a big TV. There is a fireplace. What else do you see? There is a One lamp, lamp on a night lamp. table. Okay. What else? On the floor, right? You say on the floor. Very good. How many bathrooms do you see in the presentation? There are two bathrooms. There are two bathrooms. Good. In this bathroom, there is. Do you, do you know the vocabulary that's over here? What do you see? Uh huh. There is a white. There is a white sink. What else do you see? There is a. A bathtub. What else do you see? There is a shower. Uh -huh. What else? There is one toilet. There is a toilet. All right. What do you see in this dining room? What do you see in what do you see in this in this uh, tiny room? How many uh -huh. how many a chandelier? Okay, chandelier. there's a chandelier, yeah. What else do you see? How many windows do you see? Uh -huh. There is a curtain. <laughs> there is a vase of flowers. There is a table. There's a rug once again around the floor. And that's it, right? That's what we have in this in this room. Later, um, how many bedrooms do you see over here? Two bedrooms. Yeah, how many do you see in the presentation? Two bedrooms. There are two bedrooms, right? In this bedroom, um, there is. Let me see. Somebody is. Hello, Bidal. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Uh -huh. What do you see in this in this bedroom? It is a bed. There is a bed. There are two. Now. <laughs> there are two lamps, kids. There are two lamps. There are two windows. There is a door, etc. All right. So here we have more vocabulary. Okay, this is going to be useful for you when presenting the houses, the weirdest houses, right? Worldwide. Now, you know, what's, what's a cupboard? There is a big cupboard. Look for the meaning. There are two fans. There is a refrigerator. There is a microwave. 
there is a cooker, there is a sink, there are three modern chairs. They're beautiful, right? Okay. And this is a kitchen, right? This is a kitchen. So what did I mention? ¿Qué es lo que mencioné que había acá en, el, en, en, en la cocina? Tú, ¿por qué, ¿por qué fans? Así se llama esos artículos. Ah, ya, yeah, fans. Me llama uh, la atención. Two fans. Yeah, fans. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Así se llama, así se pronuncia. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two fans. Oh. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. what else do we have? There is a big cupboard, one refrigerator, one microwave, etc. Now keep it in mind because I know that you have gotten some vocabulary when working with um, the weirdest houses in the world. Now to finish, in my house there is a big swimming pool. Where can you see the sea? Wow, can you imagine having a house like this one? Creo que a todos nos gustaría tener una casa como esta. That would okay. be fantastic, right? Okay. Now, that was the presentation about a house, right? Now, what? how do you describe this picture? Can me ayuda a describir esta, esta, lo que hay en esta fotografía? Ya que vimos el vocabulario en, la, en las páginas anteriores. This picture, people. This one. What do you see there? What is there in the picture? Hello? How many curtains? How many armchairs? How many tables? How many windows? How many rugs? How many plants? What do you see there? One oh. table, one carpet. There is, a, okay, there is a table. Mm -hmm. There is a row there are windows there is a plant there are four curtains no fun over right here right okay and what about this one what do you see over here What do you see here, people? Well, you, you're very quiet tonight. What's happening to you tonight? <laughs> well, as you can see, we have been like, like practicing a little bit about some vocabulary with the reason there are, right? So that's what we were uh, working on with this presentation. This is about about the house, right? It may be my dream house. But it's <laughs> la casa de mis sueños, okay? But there's not my, my house. Okay. Now, people, we're going to have some time where everybody's going to participate. Okay? We're going to have the first part. And uh, I don't know if you're ready with the cities, the presentation about the cities. Uh, let me see, raise your hand. Levanten la mano los que ya están listos con la presentación de la ciudad. No one in the group. It may be like, like two minutes, okay? Two minutes. A two minute presentation would be all right. Okay, about the city. Okay.
then we're gonna have some more time. Okay, this is going to be pure practice, remember. Vamos a practicar, chicos. Eh, si no están listos todavía, con, porque veo que nadie levantó la mano. Si todavía no están listos con, la presentación, con las presentaciones, pues puedo cederles un poco de tiempo para que logren terminarlo. ¿Les parece? Ok, okay Sarlin, ¿cuánto tiempo necesitamos para, para completar las tareas? Oh. <risas> ¿Quién me dice? Es una pequeña presentación de, de, de las ciudades. Ustedes eligen una ciudad, ¿verdad? Popular. La investigan, investigan la pronunciación de las palabras, lo que ahí dice, y nos lo, nos lo presentan, ¿ok? Esa es la primera. La otra es buscar una, el, eh, una casa que sea extraña, de las más extrañas que hay en el mundo, eh, buscar información de ella y presentarla. Okay. Para cada presentación necesitamos in, mm, invertir o, o, digamos, presentar en dos minutos, ¿ok? No más de eso, a menos que usted diga, bueno, yo me voy, a, me voy a echar una buena presentación de unos cinco minutos, ¿ok? Pero depende de cada quien. Ok, ¿qué tal si les doy que 15 minutos para que trabajen en ambas cosas y de ahí nos dedicamos a puras presentaciones? ¿Les parece? Está bien. Okay. 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 Now I will give you 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes and then everybody please. Todos listos, por favor, porque me voy a ir en orden de lista. Okay. Okay, here we go. You have 15 minutes from now. Practiquemos. Identifiquemos vocabulario, eh, las preposiciones del lugar, lo que hemos estado estudiando, las expresiones, etc. Okay? 15 minutes. After those 15 minutes, okay, everybody will participate. Okay, here we go. You have your 15 minutes.
Okay, people, five minutes more, five. Are you almost ready? Let me know when you get ready, please, so that we can start, okay?
Welcome, Maribel. Welcome. Hello. Maribel got into the class, fortunately. Good evening, Maribel. Welcome. Okay, people, two minutes, and then we start. Okay, people, we're going to start. Okay, now we'll start from here. Now, I know Sarling is sick, so she's not, she's not gonna be able to. Veralis, hello Veralis. Good evening, Veralis. Are you there? Hello, Veralis. Are you ready? Are you sick? I'm sorry to know about it. Okay, so Sarlim. I'm here. <laughs> now are you ready, Sarlim, with the information? Um, voy a tratar de compartirlo, pero no sé, no, nunca lo he hecho, así que voy a intentar. Okay, very good. Uh, no sé si se ve. Yeah, that's Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, what can you tell us about Tokyo? Es chiquito, es chiquito. <laughs> um, okay. A uh, mixture the old world and futurist technology. Tokyo is one of the only places you can see a traditional kabuki show one minute. Define yourself looking at cutting edge fashion in the Harajuku neighborhood. The next pack with people is sky creepers and one of the world most state of the art mass transit network. You as one, as one to take in traditional Japanese culture. While the way of local, ¿cómo se dice? Templo. I think it's 
¿Cómo? I think it's rinse. Sí. Yeah, I will look for it, don't worry. Mm. Uh, uh, Trim shows and market, oh, and let's not forget the food Tokyo is a world capital for cuisine with almost almost double the Michelin star of Paris restaurant. Y el vocabulario, neighborhood, que es vecindario, es skies, creepers, rascacielos, networks, redes. Esa palabra que dije que no. Shrines, los shrines, 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 yeah, shrines. Ok, ahí está. Ok, very good. Now we'll keep it. Neighborhood, skycrapers, shine, a lot of shrines, and networks. Wow, mm -hmm. quite good. Thank you very okay. much. Ok. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. Clap for you. Uh, Ronan? Hello, Ronan. Good evening. Ronan, are you there? Is everything all right? Good evening, Ronan. Hello, Ronan. Hello, hello. Okay, now, now we can listen to you. Are you ready? Eh, todavía estoy trabajando, teacher. Are you still working in the presentation? Sí, sí. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Ronan. Just let me know when you get ready, please. Now I have Oscar, Oscar Josué. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready? No hice presentación, teacher, pero sí tengo lo. Okay, so we just let us know about it. Yeah. The Barcelona. He has cosmopolitan, open city. We are social cohesion in reality. The Catalan capital is a small TV city is in the world in ranking for quality of life, safety, and equity. Barcelona is a city. We are living with East AC, a healthy city with a Mediterranean climate, green areas and local food. Living in Barcelona is warranty of a good quality of life. It is fantasy city. I went on vacation in January in the city and tourist park with two beautiful Sus and the aquarium, the Sagrada Familia, Stadium, Exadurai. Oh, okay. okay, Oscar, vocabulary that you have gotten from the activity? Eh, fíjese que busqué una palabra que sí me llamó bastante la atención, que es cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. eh, Quiero ver. Lo tenía aquí. Se me perdió, teacher, que quería decir cosmopolitan, pero sí quiere decir que personas que viajan demasiado y le gusta bastante la nación esa. All right. Oscar, tell me, tell me the month of the, uh, the, of the year, please. ¿Se recuerda de los meses del año? ¿Cómo se dicen en inglés? Yeah. Okay, tell me. January. Okay, January. Father, Oscar. Okay, that's January. Uh -huh. January. February. March. April. 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 June. May. Ah, May. June. July. July, August, July, July, August, August, 
September, October, November, y December. Okay, Oscar, pretty good. Now keep it in mind, okay? Keep it in mind. Thank you very much for sharing the information about Barcelona City, right? Then we have Norma. Hello, Norma, are you there? Can you help us with the presentation, please? Hello, teacher. Aún estoy trabajando. Have you still working? Okay, Norma. Well, let me see. Well, I wonder if, if Maricela is able to. Hello, Maricela. I don't remember if you told me you, you are uh, okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Are you ready? Um, yo hice, yo, o sea, yo lo hice, pero le entendí mal. Así que le voy a presentar lo que hice. Ok, Marcela. Go ahead. Ok. Permítame. <laughs> After Maricela. Okay. Okay. Is I'm sure this city is the Paris in the France. Okay, lo que yo pues hice en la presentación en la siguiente, porque yo entendí mal. Um, dice que uh, Paris, Paris City in the France is a very emblematic city de Eiffel Tower. Look at it at the end of the chain, the mars on the banks of the ring, ring Sin River, um, this Paris same ma, ma, monument in symbol in France and in its capital is the ties um, stancher in the city in the most visited tours and monument in the world. Known as the city on float, it also has very vanguard. Uh, Fashion in some last lives like this. Finish. Okay, so actually that's what I was uh, asking you. That's what I asked you to do. Eso es lo que les pedí que hicieran. Si está bien la info, okay. Ahí está, que les dije que era una, una ciudad pues emblemática, que recibía turistas de todo el mundo y que pues era una ciudad... Eh, que simboliza la ciudad del amor. All right, very good. Y That's pues, Paris. la vanguardia en la fashion, fashion. <laughs> okay, okay, so, excellent. Thank you. Now, vocabulary that you learned, vocabulario que aprendió de su presentación. Eh, de lo que encontré, el U es lo que se dice, look at it, and they dice loca, que es localidad, Look. Y lo último que es Lankies, la, la, que es paisaje, algo así. Uh, line, lines, ¿qué dice? Line, ¿Can you type it in the chat, please? Ok. Ahorita se le escribe. Ok, Marisela, thank you. So that would be really nice, right? But the vocabulary you have gotten from the presentation, right? Uh, landscapes. Okay, very Thanks. good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Maricela. Now we have Maribel. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready, Maribel? No. Lo siento, yo no me fui lejos de mi de donde yo estoy, así que yo le voy a hacer presentación, pero no pude tomar fotos ni preparar bien mi tarea, pero voy a tratar la manera de no sé, en, eh, bueno, voy a hablar de Denis de la Zona Rosa, que es un costado de donde yo trabajo, 
y que muchas veces me toca ir a almorzar o a un break. It is located next to Sergio Vier, um, in Bolivar, in La Capilla, Avenue, next to San Benito Apartment, in front of a restaurant. Um, Permitan. Y apartment. Pro um, of the restaurant is called Eco Expo uh, Company. Uh, from um, Expo is un es una em, empresa que recluta personal. Um, to Alex y Café es Juan Valdez. Finish. Okay, how do you say recluta personal? Remember, we have been studying that info. Okay. Henry, you want to participate now? Yes, teacher. Lo va a hacer como entendida. Thank you, Maribel. Okay, Henry. Thank you, Maribel. That was quite good. Voy okay, Henry. Okay, Henry, go ahead. Okay. Apanica City, proposition of place. There are many experience, adventure, emotion, discovery. For example, adventure, labyrinth of of Albania. This is a uh, this is best place to do in at uh, there are many tourist agencies that offer it offer it. Around there are many tourist attraction, for example, restaurants and coffees. In Apaneca there are many tourist information centers I expected at that consolidated with tourist destination, such as such as adventure, there are many tourist attractions aimed at all types of public. Thank you. Quite good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, can you mention some vocabulary you got from the presentation, Henry? Uh, for example, uh, it's a tourist a, a, a agencies 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 tourist yeah. agencies 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 yeah okay e attraction que es attraction attraction tourist attraction okay thank you Henry thank you very much now we're gonna have the participation of Gladys. Gladys, are you ready? Okay, bitch. Okay, it's your turn. No sé si pueden ver mi pantalla. Y lo pongo late, yeah. Sí, um, bye. Uh, it is late of volcanic origin in Salvador. It is the largest natural lake in El Salvador. It's water with abundant fishing of mojarras, popotes. It's so suitable so for sailing or motor birds. And in Ilopango Lake, we can find the malecon where you can enjoy various dishes, including free of fish, sea full soap, Prevail shrimp and drinks such as soda, limonade, and also alcoholic beverage. And there are also people who often serenade 
serenades for a dust. And in the same place, there are the people who of, offer both service so that you can go with the world of family. And there is also a tourist center that has women pools for children and adults, as well as water games. There are people with cars that sell snacks strike and popsicles. There are places where you can buy bath and sweet, floats, and everything you need on the beach. Finish. Great info. Hey, what about vocabulary you got? Um, sailing, que era navegar. Boats, right. que era como botes o lanchas o barcos. All right, eh, boats. Boats, yeah. serenata, serenata, que era serenades. Yeah. Eso, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Serenades, yeah. Serenades. Uh, eh, también tastes, que es sabores. Y popsicles, que es paletas de, de hielo o helados, algo así. Yeah. Y, y batting sweets, que son trajes de baño. Great info, congrats. I think that's that was worth it. Now, you know, worth it, right? Saben esa palabra o la 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 vemos ahorita qué significa? Worth it, worth it. En el chat la puse. Es valer la pena. Okay, worth it. Very good. Espero que hacer esa esa tarea haya valido la pena. Aprenderse mucho vocabulario, pronunciación. Eso es muy 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 bueno. Ese es el objetivo. Now, let's see. Gilberto, I don't know if you're able to. Because. No, I think Gilberto faces some problems tonight. He told me. And Gerardo, you told me also, right? Now, so let's continue with Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Can you listen to me? Hello, hello, Claudia. Good evening. Use a chat in case you are facing pro technical problems so that I can I can notice about it. Well, let's let's see with uh, Camelia. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready? Uh, sí. Okay, so let's let's start with your presentation, please. Uh, London City. London is the capital and largest city of England and the unit Kildon. Located on the banks of the River Thames, it is a city in constant motion, purely due to the exceptional underground train system. Redoubling the Dacre buses, buses and the popular black taxis. Some of the old world gems you can visit include um, Westminster Bay, the Conic Big Bang Clock, and the Tower Bridge. Vision Motion exhibits, exhibits trends from around the world. The museum exhibits work of the modern art, ranking from paintings and the conventional art installation to diverse artistic expression, so as light and song shows. Okay. 
London is home to some of the world's most fabulous department store, including Harlem's in the Nixbridge and Self Frinks. The large, large department store on Oxford Street. And vocabulary study Bernie, que sería parcialmente exhibits, exhibiciones, museum, museum, museo, underground, subterráneo, source, semejante, James Gemas. Okay, so. That was quite good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Camelia, that was quite good, Camelia. Thanks for doing your best effort. Okay. And then Alison was just uh, chatting and she said, Teacher, I want to be the next. Okay, Alison. Okay, I will share my screen. Good. Uh... Okay. Okay, can you see the screen now? Sure, that's it, it's Tokyo, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will start, give me a moment. Okay, I, I will talk about Tokyo as well. <laughs> uh, well, but uh, for more traditional uh, uh, city. Okay, mm, is the no other city in the world accommodates more than more people in its metropolitan area than Tokyo, with more than uh, 37 million residents, over a dozen of metro lines, thousands of cherry trees, and an active volcano in of Mount Fiji, lying on its southern outskirts. Japan's capital is in is an incomparable city. Okay, one of the attractions of Tokyo is the Sensoji uh, Temple, uh, the largest Buddhist temple in the city. It is the main attraction of in Asakusa. This temple is famous for its Kaminarimon <laughs> or Thunder Gate. <laughs> Uh, and also we have Shingodo Shrine dedica dedicated to Tanuki, a raccoon-like character from Japanese folklore, is also situated in this neighborhood. Mm, we also have the Imperial Palace, uh, the long tradition of Jap Japanese Imperial family is still uh, continue. Although these days the political power of the emperor is limited uh, is limited and symbolic. And the main of this presentation are the cherry blossoms. Um, a, a cherry blossom means a, 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 a la flores de cereza. La, los árboles de cereza. Eh, what makes Tokyo especially beautiful in the old Japanese tradition of cherry blossom appreciation. In springtime, white and pink flowers of cherry trees, kel sakura in Japanese, decorate the entire city. Um, si algunos han visto eh, anime, Sakura es eh, un nombre que aparece en varios animes y significa eh, árbol de cereza. <laughs> eh, also, in, in Tokyo, we have a um, uh, Tokyo Disneyland eh, Tem Park, and eh, there are, considering that Tokyo is on an Iceland seafood is everyone's favorite. Visit Tsukiji fish market to buy some of the freshest fish in the country. Also, there are many green spaces around Tokyo. For a more active visit, go to Yoyogi Park, uh, where many visitors play sports and, pra and practice their hobbies. And that's, that's the end of my presentation. Great info. Thank you, Alison. 
Okay. Okay. Now we also learned a new a, a new word in Japanese, right? The sakura, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> now the vocabulary that you got from the presentation, Alison. Uh, uh, um, southern that que significa del sur. Permítame que no puedo regresar a la. Aquí está. <laughs> okay, so southern que significa del sur y eh, outskirts que es afuera de las afueras de la ciudad. Right. Y ajá, eso es todo. Okay, thank you very much. Great info. Great info about Tokyo. Well, I wonder if there are, if we have some people who wants to participate. No sé si hay alguien más que quiera participar. Well, now that we have done that, okay, I want you to notice about the, the, the um the information you got and notice uh, and notice if you include prepositions of place okay okay so that that's a, another purpose for having this this presentation and now well i told you right to to get some info about the greatest houses in the world uh, but um, well before getting into that part Let's work a little bit about this info, okay? That was quite good. Presentation work, very good. Oh, uh, well, you know, yesterday we started with this, right? There's an ATM, ATM across the street on the corner up. So you see, we, we were like, um, starting there is there are, and we were just using prepositions of place at the same time, right? Around the corner, expression that we were uh, practicing on the right, on the left, etc. Right on various streets. So we also uh, solve this exercise, right? And uh, well, this is the part that I, wa I wanted to share with you because this is important, okay? <clears throat> well, you, the purpose of having the presentation on cities uh, in the world was for you to practice um, about location of places, right? There is, uh, uh, there is a church, there is um, a park nearby, etc. right? So in that was one of the of the main purposes. The other purpose was for you to discover new vocabulary and use the grammatical structure we have been studying lately. Now over here, since we have been uh, working about places, okay, I think there is a very special place for you. That is your workplace, okay? Over here, we're going to see some info about Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar, okay? But we're gonna talk specifically about their workplaces. Now, you're going to help me to include some vocabulary or to, to, to investigate some vocabulary, right? Now, there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. Now, you will tell me how to pronounce this word. There's a huge, there's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. What is high-tech, okay? Elevator. That's Mr. Pass information. Okay. So there is a. Ah, then we have beautiful, right? So this is this is um this is 
an adjective. So we need to identify this also, right? This is an adjective. And this is a noun, right? There is a beautiful lobby, but A refers to the lobby itself, right? So in Spanish, uh, it's different, right? Because we use the, 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 the adjective at the end. Now in the second one, we have also another adjective. Okay, how do you pronounce this word, people? Hello? Con how do you pronounce that word? We have rooms, right? Comfortable rooms. I say comfortable rooms. Comfortable rooms. Comfortable. Yeah. And as you can see, we have the adjective over here. And then we have the down. Now, how do you pronounce this word, people? Um, huge. Huge. Okay, then we have another adjective. Another adjective. And then we have a noun over here, parking lot. So you see the order, right? A huge parking lot. A huge parking lot. Yeah. This one is high tech. This is the, the adjective. And this is the elevator, right? So now, um, well, it happens that in English, as you can see, we have two different ways to work with it. Tenemos dos maneras de usar el adjetivo. Le voy a explicar cómo. Ejemplo, uh, a huge parking lot. There is a huge parking lot. Okay. Uh, si ustedes se fijan, huge es el adjetivo, parking lot es el nombre. Okay. En español decimos la chica bonita o la chica es bonita. But in English, eh, el adjetivo se pone antes. Se puede poner antes o se puede poner después. Como por ejemplo decir, um, the girl is beautiful. She is a beautiful girl. Okay, she is a beautiful girl. So it's, it's different. So over here, yeah. It is a huge parking lot. Okay, es tal cual como está ahí, ¿verdad? Pero también podemos decir the parking lot is huge. Okay, so we have two different ways to say the same thing, right? It is a huge parking lot. So se fijan, acá, in the first, in the first part, el adjetivo va antes, así como está acá, antes del nombre. Pero de acá, el nombre va primero. Y cuál es la diferencia que acá, pues estamos usando el verbo vi y después del verbo vi podemos usar el adjetivo. Ok. And it is the same. I mean, the same message, but by, by saying, saying it in a different way. Ok. So, si decimos lo mismo con lobby, ¿cómo sería? There is a beautiful lobby. It is a beautiful lobby. Different way to say it? Mm. 
The lobby is beautiful. The lobby is beautiful. There are, I mean, they are uh, comfortable rooms. They are comfortable rooms. The rooms are comfortable. The rooms are comfortable. Comfortable. Uh, they are three high-tech elevators. The elevators are high-tech. High-tech. Yeah, high-tech. High all right, very good. So the same way, we may say the same over here. So what really matters to me is that you just notice about the adjectives and the nouns, okay? Adjective, noun. It is a narrow uh, reception area. The area, the reception area is narrow. So you may say the same, right? There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices, etc. So we have two people over here, right? So we have Mr. Paz and Mr. Aguilar. But they, as you can see, they are presenting their workplaces. Okay, they are doing so. And we have some questions over here. For example, how does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? Uh huh. Can you can do you remember how does Mr. Pars describe his workplace? What is there in his workplace? Actually, we are working on page forty-three. People, forty-three. How does Mr. Pars describe his workplace? ¿Cómo describe su lugar de trabajo el señor Paz? How do you describe his workplace? Okay, don't see the information and try to remember it. Beautiful. ¿Cómo se dice? Comfortable. 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 Huge. And high-tech <laughs> elevators. Okay. Oh, now there you see. Well, try to make, try to to keep in mind this info. Okay. Traten de mantener una, dos, tres, cuatro oraciones en mente. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot, and there are three high tech elevators. Now, ready? I will ask you again. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? In his workplace? In his workplace? There is, there are? There is a beautiful lobby. Excellent. Uh, there there is, is, or there are? Don't there worry are about it. Comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> Comfortable rooms. Rooms, all right. A huge parking lot. There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. And there are three high-tech elevators. Excellent. So, una pregunta, ¿por qué trae ese, cómo se llama? Ese signo para separar high-tech. Well, actually, that is, that is the... That is the adjective. Así se escribe el, el adjetivo en realidad. Es high technology. Mm. It means high technology. Tecnología de punta. Okay. Y siempre lleva esa separación. Así. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. High tech. That is the adjective. All right. So there, there, are, there is a beautiful lobby. There, is, there are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high tech elevators. That's about Mr. Pass. Now. Let's let's see the next. One. What does Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? Now, look at it because over here is a think. Okay, think. What does she think about her workplace? Okay, now read again. Let us read again and let us try to keep in the, keep in mind 
the, the sentences we have one, two, three, four sentences also. There is a narrow receptionist area. That's what she thinks, okay? There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. So once again, ready? Try to keep them in mind. There's a nervous reception in this area. There are two dead in dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center and there are small offices. Ready? Okay. What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace, people? There is a narrow reception area. She thinks there is a narrow reception area. Good. What else? There, is a narrow... there are two dirty dining rooms. She, dining she, she thinks that the dining rooms are uh, dirty. There are two dirty dining rooms. Okay, what else? What else? She thinks uh, there is an ugly for a copy center. She thinks there's an ugly for a copy center and I think there is one more. <clears throat> she thinks there are small offices. He thinks there are small offices in her workplace. Excellent. Okay. There's a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining room. There's an ugly photocopy center. And there are small offices. What, what that's what she thinks about her workplace. And finally, this is for you people. On which of the two places? It says places, right? Do you want to work and why? On, on which... Mr. Pass workplace. <laughs> but why? Why? Because it has a beautiful, a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot, and there are high tech elevators. And on the contrary, on the contrary, how do you? How do you? Uh, I mean. Um, uh -huh. On Mr. Aguilar's workplace, there is a narrow reception area. There are two, three dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center, and there are small offices. Great. Very good. Now, that's the way, as you can see, we, we have like three, three questions, information about two people, okay, and... and we we could or we will be able to create a conversation about it right so that would be quite interesting right so to create a conversation but actually tonight i don't think we have enough time to do so so we're gonna do the following okay now well just before getting to that part just let's try to see this info okay about positive and negative adjectives if you say comfortable is that positive or negative? Positive. If I say narrow, is that positive or negative? Negative. Huge? Mm, positive. Positive. Small? Negative. Negative, but it all depends, right? Because I hear we're talking about offices, okay? Oh, here we're talking about the parking lot. Nice, positive, disgusting. Negative. Illuminated. Positive. It depends. It, it all depends. If you like if you like illuminated rooms, that's positive. Smelly. Negative. Yes. That's negative, right? So smelly. Okay, as you can see, we have positive and negative uh, adjectives. And well, we're gonna do something, okay? Because you know, for describing a place, we have a lot, a lot of, a lot of adjectives, right? So you can investigate. There are more, right? 
beautiful, comfortable, huge, high thick, narrow, dirty, smelly, ugly, etc. <clears throat> but now you are going to be in charge of describing your core place. Ok, van a escribir un párrafo describiendo su lugar de trabajo. Ok. Tenemos solo 10 minutos, pero en 10 minutos creo que escribimos algo. Mientras ustedes terminan con eso, yo voy a pasar la lista. Y nos queda pendiente la información de las, de las casas este, más raras que hay en el planeta. Pero eso sería para el día martes. El día lunes ya tenemos ese espacio para el pequeño proyectito que ustedes nos van a demostrar, nos van a mostrar. Ok, ese día, por favor, listos todos. Eh, les va a quedar sábado, domingo, para crear algo o terminar de, de afinar el, algo que, que nos van a presentar el día lunes. Ok. Ok, ahorita necesito que trabajen en la descripción de su lugar de trabajo. Ok, un pequeño párrafo. Puede ser de que unas 5, 7 o 10 líneas. Ok, let me see. I will check list attendance, people. Alison. Ah, ok, Alison. El, el, las clases del, del curso de nivel, nivel básico terminan día martes. El día martes estaremos cerrando con el curso de eh, nivel básico. Ah, por ahí creo que ah, les han mandado, no sé si les enviaron un, un documento de preinscripción. Revisan por favor sus correos porque creo que ya se los han de haber enviado. Y si no lo pueden visualizar, pues preguntan por allí a los compañeros en el grupo. O pueden eh, preguntarles directamente a ellos. Ahí están este, los contactos en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Eso es para darle continuidad al curso. Y la encuesta que usted había mencionado es la hasta encuesta el todavía último todavía. día. Sí, fíjense que yo pensé que este día la, la iba a recibir, pero creería que pues va a ser lunes o a lo mejor martes. Pero sí la, vamos a tener ese espacio para que la puedan llenar. Ese, 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 ese formulario es de rigor. Okay, ¿Y así ese que, se llena en la plataforma? No, o... les van a mandar un enlace para que ustedes lo puedan llenar ok uh, ok ok now, voy a pasar lista en lo que ustedes trabajan ok Adán present teacher Alison I'm here teacher Andrea Raquel Camelia Presente okay, Camelia, Dina Maribel Gerardo Emanuel Gilberto Me here, teacher. Okay, very good, Maribel. Oh, Gladys. Present. Good, Gladys. Sector Salvador. Presente, teacher. Eh, Henry. Present, teacher. Excellent, Henry. Hey, Henry, I'm really happy to, to see you in the class. La verdad me alegra mucho. Pensé que que ya no lo íbamos a ver. Uh, thank you, teacher. No, y sí, estaba pendiente ahí, pero como por error ahí de comunicación, entonces, no porque ahí estábamos siempre al pendiente. Ok, Henry. Eh, Sarlim. Present. Ok, Jonathan Josué.
Alison, okay, I do the English exam and I will. Okay, okay Alison, it will be really nice. Okay, Isabel. Okay, Isabel is there, that's right. Jonathan Josue, Mayra Nora, Nora Bell. Maria Elba. I saw Maria, I know she's, she told me she's, she's working, right? Marisela. Present. Okay, Miguel Angel. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Norma, Oscar Josue. Present teacher. Okay, Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Vidal Antonio. And Claudia. Okay. Okay, Vidal. Good. <clears throat> no. Okay. Raquel is not here. Right? Okay, people, we're almost done with the class. Okay. Ya casi terminamos. Eh, no sé si hay consultas respecto a la actividad del día lunes. Okay, Mary. No sé si hay eh, preguntas con la actividad del día lunes. Solo déjenme decirles que pues, el día de mañana me voy a dedicar a pasar eh, los resultados de las actividades de la plataforma, incluyendo, bueno, el midterm ya lo, ya lo coloqué, ya, ya puse sus, su, uh, su récord, pero de igual manera voy a, voy a volver a revisar porque en, en, en el día que, que lo trabajé, habían algunos que, unas dos o tres personas que todavía no lo habían terminado, no lo habían realizado. Entonces voy a revisar porque ya acuérdense que ya estamos al cierre y um, necesito este, visualizar esos puntajes ahí para que no vayan a tener dificultades de, 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 de notas, ¿verdad? Eh, la asistencia pues queda, ambas cosas quedan grabadas, ¿verdad? Solo que una queda grabada en la plataforma y hay otro documento en donde queda grabado aparte que es la asistencia. Este... Para el día lunes, vuelvo y les repito, <coughs> eh, la actividad es abierta. Eso sí, lo, el, donde lo vamos a, a, este, um, a visualizar es respecto a los temas que nosotros hemos, que hemos estudiado durante todo, todo el nivel de básico. ¿okay? Sean creativos, eh, disfruten la actividad. Y espero que el día lunes todos estén, estén listos, ¿ok? Recuérdense que es como, es como el premio, el premio final que ustedes se van a llevar. Esa satisfacción de decir, el teacher a cada rato nos ponía tareas y retos y pues aquí le dimos hasta el final, los cumplimos. Y hoy vamos con otro nivel, ¿ok? Ya luego se van a dar cuenta que hay otros teachers Excelentes, por supuesto, excelentes teachers con otras, como les digo, estrategias, con otras, um, con, con otras técnicas, con otras um, maneras de enseñar, pero siempre eh, van a tener con ustedes excelentes docentes. Entonces yo siempre trato de, de hacer lo mejor que puedo para cuando mis estudiantes o los participantes se muevan a un nivel superior pues lleguen con todas las las herramientas necesarias con todas las, las destrezas necesarias para no enfrentar dificultades 
No sé si hay preguntas o alguna inquietud. ¿Alguna participación? Las no. notas las va a subir a la plataforma. No, las notas este, no. ustedes las van a visualizar al final. Cuando ah. ya le den este, su, su diploma, ahí uh -huh. va a aparecer el récord. Okay. Si usted, cuando, cuando usted hace las actividades, ahí les va dando, un, ahí les va dando una nota de cuánto han sacado. Uh -huh. okay. o sea, ya, las notas prácticamente las las van adquiriendo cada vez que ustedes realizan una actividad, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo lo único que hago es recoger esas notas y pasarlas al documento que, que a mí me solicitan. ¿Ok? Ok. No preguntas, no hay más preguntas. Lo dejamos acá. Nos vemos mañana. Sí, este no, el lunes. El ah, lunes. Sí, a Monday. Los veo el lunes, trabajen mucho el fin de semana, disfrútenlo. Y este, pues, let's see you on Monday. God bless okay. you. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. <ríe> eh, Héctor, ok, good night, people. <coughs> Héctor. Eh, pues tendría hasta el día lunes, porque ya martes prácticamente cerramos, Héctor, pero todavía el día lunes yo, yo puedo chequear okay, las actividades directamente, las, las, eh, eh, las que a usted le hacen falta. No hay problema, Héctor. De acuerdo, Héctor, yo voy a estar ahí pendiente. Ok, see you on Monday.